Good evening. I am a 14-year-old student here in Dubai, and I like reading, traveling, and playing sports. Good evening. I am a 12-year-old student here in Dubai, and I like exploring, traveling, and volunteering. I am happy in this country because it supports every part of my well-being: physical, mental, educational, my entertainment, and my future. Myself, I feel the same. I am happy in this country because it is also a place of peace and opportunity. Peace and opportunity. It may seem like a privilege to some. Maybe you did not enjoy these privileges in your youth. Maybe you helped brought your children here so that they could. UAE's vision 2021 is clearly to make the UAE among the best countries in the world by the Golden Jubilee of the Union. The UAE's 50th birthday. The leaders decided upon three goals: people united in prosperity, destiny, and knowledge. Today, at the beginning of 2020, one year away from the 50th birthday, I feel the UAE has already achieved these goals here, and that they can be seen and felt around us. How does a country make such incredible progress over just 49 years? From a desert with no city life to a country with modern buildings and diversity. And not just the buildings, the safety, the well-being and happiness of its citizens like us. Have you ever played the game Sim City on your computer? Is it the game where you have to build your own city and keep your population happy? Yeah, that's the one. So where do you start? What do you prioritize? If you start by building parks and fairs, people have no money to spend on them. So happiness goes down. So you quickly develop the job sector. But after work, people have nowhere to live. Oops, you forgot the houses. Happiness goes down. You need to spend more on roads. There's too much traffic. And then you get the idea. Happiness goes down. What a stress to build a city. I think the rulers of the UAE must be very good at playing Sim City. When they built this nation, they built towards those clear goals: prosperity, destiny, and knowledge. You can see buildings grow around here like trees. It's very impressive. Inside those buildings, world-class healthcare including the latest advances like robotic surgery and artificial intelligence. first rate education systems with institutions like our school existing not that i'm biased and with the world's first university in artificial intelligence too business districts which ranks the uae 11th in the world for ease of doing business and the expo 2020 site which is developing right now to host the innovations of nations You should copyright that phrase, Senat. Why? Thank you. As well as the buildings growing, we have initiatives taking root. The sheikhs went beyond the infrastructure to embed deeper level initiatives. Let's take last year, 2019. It was called the year of tolerance. How many countries do that? In their years. 2016 was the year of reading and 2017 was the year of giving. How clever to focus the population inwards on matters of well-being and true happiness. Law and order is also strictly enforced. Something we all appreciate. You could leave your handbag or wallet on a park bench and come back and find it right where you left it. You told me a really good example of that, Sanat. Ah yes. In September last year, a Starbucks employee was honored by the Dubai police after she returned a bag forgotten by a customer in the Dubai mall. There were fifty-three thousand dollars inside that bag. Just imagine, how would you feel finding that bag, and what you would do? In how many cities would the bag be returned? So why are we talking to you today about the great infrastructure and feeling of well-being here in Dubai? Isn't it kind of odd to have young people discuss these topics in depth? Well, it's because despite our young age, we look and listen to what's going on in the world around us. 
the feelings of unrest and in some cases outright war in countries rich and poor. And we feel fortunate to be here in the UAE. The World Happiness Report 2019 highlights Finland as the happiest country and Denmark as the happiest nation. This is despite the fact they pay very high taxes. In Dubai, we don't pay those income taxes. Maybe that's why people are so happy here. The UAE ranked the 21st happiest country and the happiest Arab country, in part due to its open arm policy towards expats, increasing their quality of life and satisfaction from working without income taxes. And this is our pride, the multicultural, opportunistic society we young people experience here. Which one of us is Emirati? Which one of us is a local to the UAE? Both of us benefit from the peace and opportunity here in the UAE. In the future, wherever we are, wherever you are, we will always share an understanding of what it actually was like to live here. Emirati identity here is strong and celebrated. But did you know that other festivals are celebrated here too, in full spirit, in schools, malls, in the streets, with fireworks in the sky, for Diwali, Christmas, Eid, and Chinese New Year. In this city, these festivals bring together people of all faiths and joy. What could be a better example of this cohesive society than when temples, mosques, and churches stand adjacent with people of respective faiths praying together? A beautiful sight I always experience whenever I'm there. And I thank God a million times for the safe and tolerant society I am blessed to be in. Five years ago, I started volunteering for different humanitarian and environmental causes. The idea of having a volunteer group would have most probably been far-fetched had I been living in another country. Luckily, the UAE has policies that support community initiative despite one's age. So a volunteer group is now fully running and official. Only two months ago, I, a 12-year-old student, got commemor commemorated by the CDA, Community Development Authority, for founding SOA Group. I feel blessed and proud to be acknowledged and recognized for my efforts. Thank you to the beloved UAE. 2020 is the year of Expo. I wonder what 2021 would represent for us in the UAE. No country has a perfect history, but what about the future? Next time you're building your sim city or creating initiatives for your school, your town or your nation, please adjust your vision, just as the UAE did, to focus on the areas that can be felt to all levels of society, even by the youth. My name is Sanat Malhotra. My name is Maria Felaknaz. I'm an Indian citizen. I'm an Emirati citizen. Proud to be Indian here in the UAE. Proud to be Emirati here in the UAE. Sharing cultures. Sharing experiences. Sharing opportunities. Sharing, sharing life. life. Thank, Thank you. you.